Hello friends, my name is Manshu and in this video I am going to tell you that how you can make the source data in pivot table dynamic. This means if you are going to add few more entries and if you are going to add few columns also then and if you are going to click on refresh on pivot table options the data is going to be updated automatically. In order to do that you must have a proper knowledge of three functions. First one is a simple one which is a count A. Uh, the second one is an offset function and the third one is not a function but uh, you must be aware of how to define a name so the first one is a count a function it's a very simple one so if you are going to apply a count a and if I'm going to do the selection of this particular range it's going to count this complete range sorry I have made a selection of this particular range so it will count the complete range the speciality of counter function is it's going to count the value as well as text it will not count blank cell but it will count value as well as text like you can see it's coming 14 so it's considering data 1 also which is a text so there's a counter function now the second aspect is uh, how to define a name and how to give a name to the range so let's say I want to give this particular uh, range uh, a name which is let's say data 1 or data let's say so I am giving data or uh, press enter so this particular name range is going to be data and you can see over here as well and it can be used in equations it can be used in order to navigate let's say I am in sheet 1 and I need to go to data so I can be here but it will be used uh, in some different manner in the examples which I am going to tell you now the next uh, important function that I am going to make you explain is the offset function now offset is a very special function and it's a reference one in offset as a reference cell I am considering this first cell row and column wise if you want to move you can give so as a row parameter don't give anything as a column parameter also don't give anything so I have reached to height so height I'm going to give let's say from this reference I'm considering this one also and this particular one also the second one so height I'm giving two and then one two three up till here also I want to consider so as a width comma I am going to give three it will give an error because it's an array function so what is the use of it uh, if I'm going to put some in front of it and in some function you know that as a number one if I'm going to do the selection of any particular range it's it will give me the sum of that particular range so here as a number one I have applied this offset function and the output of this offset function the output of the offset function is this this particular range however uh, because this output of the offset function is a range which I'm going to refer and the sum of this range is 1457 so it's giving me 1457 so offset function is being used to consider a range so this is what the offset function is now your question might be that how we are going to convert and how we are going to use all these tools to convert this particular data into a dynamic one so let's begin so I'm going to go to insert and in order to create a pivot table you can simply go over here and here you can see you can give the source data so before I am giving the source data I am converting this data in a dynamic uh, so that it will uh, whenever we are going to do any changes in this particular data let's say if we are going to do any new entry then automatically it's going to reflect in the pivot table definitely it's not going to happen automatically because the refresh button need to be clicked so first of all uh, I'm going to do the selection of this complete data okay no sorry uh, first go to formulas from formula click on define name now give any appropriate name which you want to give so let's say I'm giving a name let's say pivot data while giving a name don't give any special character apart from underscore the scope is going to be workbook that's absolutely fine and here whatever reference it is considering delete this one and I'm going to provide 
the uh, reference in a manner which going to convert this data into dynamic one so here i'm going to apply offset so in the offset function uh, first i need to give the reference i'm giving this particular cell reference then one two three give three comma after this i need to give the height of it so in order to provide the height i'm going to apply count a function bracket start and i'm going to do the selection of this so if i made a selection from the upper panel like the column a it's going to count value plus text or whatever it is there so it will provide me the height comma and then i'm going to provide the counter function once again bracket start and i'm going to do the selection for the width one like this bracket close for the counter bracket close for the main function and click on simply okay okay now this particular range name is pivot data which we have given and we can see in the name manager this is the pivot data okay so the next thing that i'm going to do i'm going to create insert pivot table i'm not going to do the selection of this particular range i'm going to mention the name which is pivot data and uh, the location is new workbook and click on ok so it has created the pivot table i'm going to put item in the row column and let's say number sold north in the column you can see the data is coming and whenever you need to if you if you have done any changes in your master data and if you want to apply the same you need to right click and you need to click on refresh you must be aware of and if there is any change in the source data then you need to click over here what i want i don't want to click over here let's say i have got another data which is this one and i'm going to add this data into the existing data which is in sheet one have a look at the figures of this particular pivot table and I'm going to add this information into this okay now I'm going to create another column which is let's say south and uh, randomly I'm going to generate the number in between 80 Okay, you need not to generate the data randomly I'm just uh, generating this because I don't have the data currently and uh, I need to make it explain to you now you can see the data over here has extra column and uh, many extra rows and this is the pivot table which we have created now the moment I'm going to click on refresh you can see the a pivot table data has been updated according to the data or, or the source data so this is how you can convert the source data into dynamic one hopefully um, this particular video is uh, helpful to you and this is my request kindly subscribe to my channel for more such videos thank you for watching have a nice day Thank you.